Oh, oh hello there, scientists. Oh, give me one second. Whew. My name's Cole. I'm one of the instructors here at the Arizona Science Center's Camp Innovation. This week we're talking whew, all about surviving in space. And I apologize, I just crash landed from outer space onto Earth. Uh, did you know that NASA's found out that their space shuttles, when they re-enter Earth's atmosphere, can go to speeds upwards of 17,500 miles per hour? It's incredibly fast. It's actually hypersonic. So, so fast that it breaks the speed barrier. Now, that experience got me thinking. We like to focus a lot on how to get people up into outer space, which is exciting and brave and bold and all of these things. But what I feel like at least I oftentimes don't think about enough of is how do we get people back down from outer space, either onto Earth or other celestial bodies, safely? Because the last thing we want to do as scientists and engineers is to risk the lives of our astronauts. So how do we discover ways to bring them back down safely? If you have an idea in the comments below, go ahead and toss it in there. We would love to see what your ideas are. I'll give you all a second to do that. Well, again, it got me thinking. And as I found out, there's a lot of different ways that NASA and other space programs bring their astronauts back down to Earth. And so in order to illustrate some of those ways, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to a friend. So this right here is my astronaut, Addison. Say hi to the people, Addison. Addison can't speak. Addison's made out of marshmallows. But Addison is super excited to help you all today understand how we bring astronauts back down to Earth. And so before I show you one of the techniques, I'm gonna show you what happens if I just drop Addison straight down in an open shuttle with no extra protection. So we have our astronaut right here. We have an open shuttle with this paper cup. And we have our drop distance. Now for, let's say, Let's say today we're gonna to drop Addison at about two feet. For us, that's nothing. But that is about 12 times Addison's height, which is a very dangerous height to be dropped from. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we drop our astronaut from that height. Well, Addison was able to stay in the shuttle, but as you can see, it was a very hard landing. Addison partially came out of it. It's not what we would call in the aeronautics industry successful. So how do we fix this? Well, there's a few different techniques and technology that scientists have been able to develop. We have huge, paras uh, huge parachutes that come out of space shuttles as they're coming back down to Earth to slow their descent. We have retro rockets which try to fire in the opposite direction of the flight path into the Earth's atmosphere. And then the, you know that will help slow down the shuttle as well. But we also have shock absorption to consider because even with parachutes slowing the descent and retro rockets trying to push up, there's still going to be some ugly bumping when it comes down to the earth again. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your very own shock absorptive, absorptive my apologies, uh, shuttle in your very own home using common household tools and objects. So I'm going to show you mine right now. It's not the most beautiful. I hope when you make yours, you also take into account aesthetics because in my opinion, making your rocket ship and your shuttle look super cool is just as important as making it work. So what we have here is we have our area where Addison is gonna be sitting, waiting to land back home. We have our platforms that are being suspended by these paper springs I made right here. Now you can make paper springs in your own home very easily. All you need is an index card or a piece of uh, thick paper. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it in one direction, like so. Fold it in the opposite direction because you kinda want like a zigzag pattern to go with this. And then you're just gonna keep on doing that until you have this sort of situation. Kinda like an accordion, right? But the cool thing about this is that when this gets compressed, it wants to return close to its original state as a flattened piece of paper. So it's gonna push up against that force that happens when our rocket ship lands super roughly. Now, let's drop 
Addison in this new shuttle at the exact same height. So, playing Addison in the new shuttle, she seems very excited to be in a much safer shuttle, and we're going to put her at, again, two feet. So here we go. Three, two, one. Huh. Well, you know what? It looks like that didn't really work out either. So what do you think I could have done better with this experiment? Do you think maybe I needed more shock absorption? Do you think maybe I could use some parachutes on my shuttle as well? I'm curious. Can you do better than I did? And if so, will you please share it with us? So we do these Facebook Lives every single weekday at 12.30. You can reach out to us on any of our social medias uh, between Facebook and Instagram. Um, please let us know what sort of challenges you are able to overcome with your own shuttles. Show some designs, send some pictures. We'd absolutely love to see them. All right, friends, let's go ahead and try that one more time and then we'll call it a day. Again, maybe dropping it a little bit lower. What I learned from that is that I probably need to revisit this design, which is actually perfect because in engineering, when you make a mistake or you fail at something, it's just a new opportunity to learn and grow as a scientist. So let's see, maybe 24 inches is way too high for this design, but maybe we can drop it down to something like 15 and see what happens. So here we go, 15 inches, three, two, one. And that time it worked. So now I know what threshold of height I can drop the shuttle from. And from there, I'm gonna keep working at making mine better. All right, friends, again, thank you for tuning in. Feel free to tune in next day uh, for the next video that we're gonna be dropping. This entire week, again, is being sponsored by our Camp Innovation. Uh, so we will see you all in the next video. Stay safe out there, wear a mask, wash your hands, and again, see you in the next video. Bye.